Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons, and this is part 22, the double deuces. We are still in France, and um, this is actually day two of our trip. It looks like Kirsten is already kind of getting a little homesick, so this could quite possibly uh, be our last day in France. I don't know, maybe she just misses the kids, or maybe she misses her everyday life. Who really knows? Um, she's kind of a homebody. Like, she's never traveled ever a day in her life, so I can I can totally feel it. Jake here also feels the exact same way. Maybe he misses Connor and Reed and Casey. I really don't know, but we're going to try to make the best of it since we did, after all, pay $3,000. We're staying here, damn it. Anyway, um, everyone looks like they're just about to get up. The creepy paparazzi guy finally took a hike. But I think since they both need to take a shower, we should kill, we should kill, speak English girl. We should totally kill two birds with one stone, right? Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to have Jake hurry up and wake up. Let's just fast forward so he gets that little mood light. Don't, don't you dare, don't you dare go anywhere. Come here. All right, so we'll have her go in here. We're actually going to... Should we try for a baby on accident? Like, you know? Um, should we? You know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and try for a baby. Like, we're not doing it on purpose. Um, this isn't planned. But we're still gonna have woohoo, but they're not gonna... You know, they're risking it. Let's just put it that way. They're risking it, so... Uh, and, and not to mention, they're both kind of dirty, and, you know, I don't feel like having them shower what? separate, so... We should totally have them shower together. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so they are making out. Jeez, you guys. Come on. Get a room, son. Get a room. Um, they are totally feeling each other. Like, Jake, he is, he is freaking head over heels for Kirsten. I don't know. This trip really has so far brought them together. I mean, last night they had a really good time um, at the pub in the photo booth. <laughs> Spent $36 on a pizza and only have two slices. I mean... That totally brings them together. Not to mention, oh, well, hello there. They uh, put some wine testing or nectar tasting, so hopefully we'll hear the little jingles. Mm, I didn't hear any jingles. No jingles. Huh. All right. So we tried. Um, they are clean now. We're actually going to have uh, Kirsten use the restroom. Then wash her hands. I think Jake needs to go to the bathroom too. Uh, let's hurry up and find one. Maybe we can just actually use one. Um, downstairs. And who are all these people? Like, look at this guy in his, like, little towel. Like, nobody needs to see that. Jeez. Take it upstairs, bro. Um, we'll let him use this bathroom. And, uh, I think Kirsten, to save a little money, because we are actually low on funds, I mean, we came here with, like, $4,000 and we only have, like, uh, 2000 left. Um, she's gonna go ahead and, uh, just to make some organic mushroom omelets. And I think that's 30 How much is that? How much is that? Seriously. That's $36? Forget that. We're making pancakes. <laughs> We're broke. Otherwise, I'd have them go eat something special. Um, we'll probably eat something better tonight. I don't know. We'll probably go somewhere. Maybe actually get an actual pizza um, from the pizzeria. But who are these people? So this is Lockley Herman. He's an explorer. Um, this is Terry G. She's also an explorer. And I think this guy here is actually from China, um, and maybe they are from Egypt, I'm not exactly sure. Um, alright, let's see what Jake's doing. Can't you just, like, wait a second? Why do you want to eat brains? Seriously. Um, why don't you go over here, and since you miss your family so much, can we call them all? Oh yeah, we can. Uh, we are gonna call Reed and chat long distance just to make sure everything's good and that Connor and Casey aren't throwing parties and, you know, inviting Hassan over. Like that, so we'll see. We'll chat a little long distance. Um, oh my gosh! <gasps> that skank! Taryn and Goodwin got together, you guys. Oh... My goodness. So, Taryn's dating again. She's obviously over us. He got the phone call from Reed. Reed told mommy, or daddy, mommy, mommy's got a new, mommy's got a new boyfriend. And it was good when. Oh, Jake's just having a great time now. He's really, really loving it. Okay, all right, well. Two can tango. Two can tango. Two can play that game, he says. All right. I think, uh, I think that's total motivation for Jake to just move on with his life now. So, Taryn, Taryn looks like, oh my god, I can't even go there. I seriously cannot even get over that. So, I don't know 
If that's not motivation to move on with your life, Jake, truly, I don't know what is. So, that's crazy. Anyway, I think Kirsten's just about done with these pancake -roos. It looks like she also gained a celebrity skill. I wonder why. Or she earned some celebrity points, probably for cooking for everyone. Jake's a little beside himself right now, but he's not going to let it get to him. Please stop trying to eat brains and go and have a damn pancake. Please. Thank you. All right. So after this, uh, we will have them go. And let's go ahead and check out the art gallery and see what that has to offer. Um, I don't know if they had an amazing date. No, it doesn't say that they had a great date. But, I mean, I think they had fun. So <laughs> I don't really care what that moodlet says. But we'll have them finish up um, and head on over. I don't know what else we can do. Uh, we'll probably need to uh, check up that campsite. I'm actually going to go and check that out now while they're making their way over to the um, art gallery. So this looks like this is the campsite over here. And we can go ahead and see what there is to offer. So it looks like there's already a tent and we didn't even have to buy one. Um, there's a little fire pit. So maybe we have to actually have some vegetables or something to roast. But no, we're good because we have the, um, the dried out food. And then there's also bathrooms and no showers, so we can use our shower in a can. We also want to take some pictures today. I don't know what of, so maybe while uh, Jake here is in the art gallery, look at him hauling some serious culo on his little on his little scooter here. Uh, we'll take we'll take some pictures. Uh oh, looks like someone's calling Kirsten. All right, let's go ahead and um, ah stop. Let's go ahead and answer that for a second. Let's see. Ignore call. Where is the an okay? Answer, answer the phone. All right. Let's see what's in here. Um, it says a travel affair. Um, I am looking for a daring soul who is willing to pride some of the Simpsons for an ample reward. If you are uh, willing, please report to me. Uh, report to. Jeannie Lambert, um, we will get treasure and visa points. I totally <laughs> accept that. So when we're done taking a peek at what's going on in this little art gallery, um, I will do that. So let's have Jake and Kirsten come on in together because this is kind of like a together thing. And we can look at all these little cool furniture pieces here. I'm actually surprised this place is so popping, <laughs> to say the least, because I don't remember my venues at World Adventures ever being like this interesting. I felt like I was the only little poor soul here. Like it was a very lonely experience, okay? Um, Jake's gonna go run over to his woman. I wanna make things official now. Jake is kind of pissed off. I mean, he's not necessarily doing it because of Taryn, but I mean, he had his reservations. He didn't wanna hurt her, right? But I really don't think, <laughs> I really don't think she's very hurt at all. I mean, she's with a, a guy that I think can really, really make her happy. So good for her, good for Taryn. So we are just gonna love it up to the point where we can go ahead and uh, propose to go study. We will be um, taking it step by step, day by day with Kirsten. I mean, it, it's been a long time coming. I'm pretty sure Jake knows he wants to be with her. Um, she's definitely the woman, you know, for him, the apple of his eye. I don't know, the the cherry to his ice cream. <laughs> definitely, definitely a good match, I think. Um, so it's kind of good that Taryn moved on, if you want to put it that way. He's going to give her a massage. Um, who is this? We do it till. All these names, and it's just upsetting that I can't pronounce any of them. Is this a dragon? Because it kind of looks like a, like a, uh, kind of looks like a shrimp to me. I don't really know. But yeah, these are actually really cool, like, um, statues and things. Like, there's a lot going on. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to stay behind the red rope, lady. What are you doing back there? Uh, word got around town that Kirsten Springston is getting a lot of positive looks. So it looks like because of that, she earned, oh, they both did. Awesome. So they are finally together. And this little guy likes the idea. Um, have cheek stroked. So she's just so excited. Just thinking, what took you so long? So they are officially together. Um, Sims are starting to catch on. Oh my god, they're totally loving each other. <laughs> How cute. Whoa, what's going on? I'm not even clicking anything. And they are in it. They're in it. They're in it. They're in it. Deep. Okay. People are starting to catch on their thing between. Yeah, I don't really care if Marcino catches on. He needs to catch on because I can't break up with him. I've tried. 
Oh my gosh, these two are too cute. What is going on? Look at them. They're just... Oh my gosh. They're just at it. And this guy... <clears throat> you again. What are you doing? This guy was creeping on this last night. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, they were just... They were loving each other for a minute. Oh, they are so cute. I I, I love them. I really do. They are so happy. They are so happy. Okay, I think we spent a good enough time here at the... Uh, what you call it. Um, I'm gonna actually have them... Go their separate ways for a minute we are gonna go report to genie uh, i do want to get some treasure because i do want to earn some simoleons and then i think we can have jake just go and view some more art and while she's doing that um we'll have him you know view all these little things i don't know okay that, i guess that's all we can look at and then maybe we can even um have him nap on the bed because he's rude like that he's so rude he would totally do it um and if he gets bored and kirsten isn't back in time we'll just have him go visit the nectary and make another bottle um and give it to kirsten like as a gift it's probably gonna taste like crap but it's okay uh so you know we, we have things to do if um she takes too long so i wonder what exactly we have to do um like i said i really don't want to do too many like adventures per se but i do want to earn some sort of income while we're here because i don't want to go back broke i know we can also look for metals rocks um i wonder if there is animals like the little rodents and things here i don't know but all right so we are here um god girl you look like you're getting skinnier i don't know from this point of view she looks like she's getting thinner because i don't know she's doing a lot of running so here we are. Uh, wow, France is so beautiful. Like, I never realized how pretty these places were. What the heck is this? What is this? What is this? Do you hear that? I don't know. That was kind of strange. And my light game's lagging. Okay. So we are reporting to Jeannie. Let's Just see what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm. Celtic Foray. Ah, uh, thank you for coming. Are you prepared? You need to do a bit of underground exploration for me. Um, you never go. You should never go adventuring without proper supplies. I have given you some dried food and essentials for staying nourished while you, um, while you what? While you explore the depths of any tomb. In addition, you should always bring a tent with you. As it happens, my humble store sells both tents and dry food. Nice. Nice way to try to suck me in and spend more money. Um, you should... Something, something, something. Uh, we would get ancient coins and visa points. Honey, we are... No. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. I'm trying. What the hell is this now? Seriously. I hear it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm having way too much fun with that. Oh, oh, I love it. All right, so we're done. Um, I don't think we really got anything. We did earn uh, some more fruit, so that's pretty much all we got. Let's see what Jake's doing. I think he's he's taking a nap on that bed there. Um, we're gonna have him. Let's see, is there anything else we could do? Uh, let's see if they are hungry before they go camping. They're not really hungry, but of course, I'm pretty sure they could use a little food. So, um, let's go to the pizzeria for a little bit of dinner. Um, and then we will go, I don't know, we'll just go and enjoy a little more um, downtown-y downtown -y things. Because I don't think it's time for them to go to sleep yet, so we're not going to camp. But when we do camp... Um, We'll probably, I was thinking we can actually go to Al Fresco Street Market and pick up some of the um, like things that you can roast because you can actually roast vegetables and fish even on the fire. And then, um, you know, just kind of have a good time. I think you can roast marshmallows too. So here we are at the Al Fresco, no, I'm wrong, the pizzeria. And um, we're gonna have actually Kirsten here go in and start making some stuff um, while she waits for Jake. So let's see, we can make, um, eggplant, lasagna, country bread, garlic bread, cheesy bread, forever alone calzone, which is depressing. A organic wood-fired lasagna. Um, a delight lasagna, lasagna suppressa. Uh, organic pizza. Organic. See, this is so much cheaper. We should have came here last night. What the hell was I thinking? Um, I'm just going to make 
a um, lasagna. Yeah, let's like make a wood fire lasagna now. Hopefully this stuff works because before it totally wasn't working. Um, it'd be it'd be kind of weird. Like I don't know. Sometimes it wouldn't work. So we are in here. I'm actually gonna turn up the lights because it's a little a little dark. Okay, all lights. So, celebrity body. Jake, this is your agent. So we both know you're gorgeous. I mean, why else would you be so popular? But listen, to keep up that image, you gotta hit the gym. Go work out for a bit. What are you trying to say? I'm fat? What are you trying to say? I'm letting myself go? You don't know me. But yeah, I will work out for four hours. I could totally do that. Why doesn't anybody else get that? Like Kirsten or uh, Casey? I, I'm, not, I'm not understanding why. Yep, no, there not working i don't know what the heck this is okay let's just use our imaginations for a bit and pretend it's actually working here so um whatever i don't know why like casey or connor <laughs> the sims that really need to lose weight don't get these um interactions but actually who are you amy amy where are you going all right whatever forget you then oh he's watching her make the food and there is our yummy yummy lasagna hopefully we can all grab a plate yes we can okay what are you doing? Oh, that looks nice. It looks yummy. This is definitely an Italian dish, but I don't really care. It's cheap and it works, so we'll have them sit down and eat. They are officially boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, I wonder if we can see the family tree now. Okay, so, yep, they are together and they have a little link. Um, Reed is with, yep. And then there is Goodwin and Taryn. Um, what? Are you serious? So, Goodwin has a son, and it, ooh, and his name's Aubrey, and he had this kid with Jenny Jones Brown. Oh, are you serious right now? Okay, so do you guys remember in the very beginning of the LPs, like the very beginning, when we saw that one pregnant chick, Jenny or whatever, and we were gonna kinda get with her? Jake was gonna get with her. Do you remember her being pregnant? She was actually pregnant with Goodwin's kid. I. I can't even believe it. That, that's so skanky. <laughs> so, uh, Goodwin's a busy man. He's not so good after all, now, is he? So, all right, they're eating. They're having a blast. Um, we're gonna actually, I don't know. I think we'll be okay, but maybe in the morning we'll need um, to pick up something to eat before we head home. I think tomorrow will be the last day of our trip. Like, we'll we'll hang out a little bit in the morning and then we'll head home because they are getting a little um homesick and it's been a really adventurous time I and mean, we went to the art gallery we went uh to the pub um we did some wine tasting so i think they've i mean they they had a really good taste of france and she's actually reading her secrets of the master chef now she's really into the culinary um career so uh she doesn't really need to go with jake to go pick up some fruit i think he can do that by himself he's a big boy i will actually have her go and head on over to the Rose Campground um, by her very own lonesome. And we can set up the tent. Um, it's actually dark outside right now, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. It's dark here. You know, I am actually happy that um, Seasons doesn't affect World Adventures in a way. Because, like, that would really suck if you came out here to enjoy your time and it was just raining the whole entire um, time. But it would be nice if you could, if you could create other worlds, like... I don't know, maybe like Aspen. Um, you could create like an like you know snowy alpine kind of theme, and then have it snow, and then do like that kind of stuff. That would be really exciting. I think that'd be fun. But I don't know. I'm not really bothered by the fact that seasons doesn't or doesn't affect doesn't affect yeah it doesn't affect um, world adventures or whatever. Okay, so why are we roaming through the graveyard, lady? Yep, yep, that's just the thing to do. Ew, the campground is right next to the graveyard. Creepy. Okay, so we can actually get quite a few really exciting things here. Like, wow, I think we're going to buy one of each of everything. Hopefully, they don't end up eating these. So we'll buy two eggplants, buy two carrots. Um, we'll buy two of these Malora grapes, which are <clears throat> extremely expensive. We'll buy two plums. I have no idea what the hell these are, but we'll buy two of those. <laughs> and then the really cool grapes here. I don't even think I've ever seen those. And then we'll buy two palmellos. And I think that's it. I think we are pretty good. That was $500. Holy crap. But my goal with that is to have... Oh, yes. Okay. My goal is to have Kirsten plant these things. So, therefore, um, we can sell them later on. Uh, we are here at the campground. And Jake actually got a discount 
on that stuff. Instead of paying $506, he only paid $290, which is a steal, by the way. Um, let's go ahead and go here. We'll meet Kirsten. I don't know if we should set up our tents or we should, um, what you call it? Um, use this one. I guess we could just use this one. Uh, we are going to go ahead and light the fire because it's looking a little dark around here, guys. A little dark. Um, and yeah, so we met quite a few locals, actually. Some kids, some older people, <laughs> a lot of different people, um, actually. We met a lot. Okay, so we'll have her wait for Jake. Um, she wanted to really read this one book. Oh, what are you doing? You're roasting food. What are you roasting? You're roasting an onion. Girl, didn't you just eat? I don't know. Is Jake here yet? No, he is just on his way. Oh, it says got ripped off. Sims hate knowing that they overspent for an over or undervalued item. Um, and he's a little spooked by the graveyard. Oh God, stop being a wussy. Be a man, Jake, be a man. All right, so we're gonna have him go here. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna warm himself at the fire. Uh, I think Jake wants to um, pop the big question. Look at them. Why are you so cute? You two disgust me. I love you all so much. I'm gonna be really sad when this LP ends. Like, for the record, I'm probably gonna drag this on until I'm 85 because I love them so much. But uh, I know that isn't possible. But okay. So when she's done shoving her face, let's go ahead and propose marriage. And you and I, you and we, can always remember that Jake proposed to Kirsten at the Rose campground in France. And this will be <laughs> their little, like, oh, come on, you know, so. anniversary uh -huh. spot. She's like, what's Did going you? on? <gasps> oh my gosh! Are you excited or what, girl? Oh, of course she accepted. Oh, she's so happy. She can't believe it. Um, we're gonna, that's so exciting. I don't even know what to say. I'm really happy for them. Aww. Yeah, he's flexing his muscles. You are such a tool. It says, congratulations. Uh, Jake and Kirsten are now engaged. They can get married at a wedding party or if they prefer something a little more intimate. You know what? No, we're going to have a big wedding party. And we're going to invite Taryn and Goodwin. And we're going to shove it down their throats. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, so he wants to have a bachelor party. He wants to do everything. Where are you going, Missy? Where are you going? Oh, you gotta use the bathroom. You're so excited. You almost peed your pants. Don't be like your son. Be a, be a big person. And you. Oh my god, this guy. Seriously. He needs to, like, get a freaking life. This Maurice dude is, like, still following us. Can you, like, go away? Nobody likes you. <gasps> what are you? Okay. Are you... You're roasting a bell pepper. All right. Don't be wasting your $50, like, vegetables, your produces. All right. It's kind of late. Um... So we're going to have Jake and uh, Kirsten go to sleep. Actually, can he eat that real quick? Okay, hurry up and eat it. We're going to have them go rest. She really wants to read this book, but you know what? You can do that tomorrow. Um, we're going to go have them relax a little bit. I know when we get home, we are going to have to put a ring on Kirsten's finger because she is now a taken lady, and you cannot go inside the tent, so back off. We're going to go ahead and... Jandy's gay. Rosh look up. We're gonna enthuse about the wedding. She's so happy. Look at her. Ah, I love it. Well, look at her. You can't see her through the tent. No duh. But you know what I'm trying to say. We're gonna enthuse about the wedding. Um, we're also gonna cuddle in the tent. I wish you guys could see. Like, can we see? Can we? Can we? I know this is like creepy. I'm complaining about Maurice, but no, we can't. Okay. It's like they're gonna cuddle. They're gonna cuddle. They're gonna um. We're gonna go ahead and try for a baby again. They're gonna woohoo, but you know, they're being risky about it. Oh man. Oh wow. And he's right about it. Arr, okay. I still didn't hear any baby music, but whatever. Alright, so we're gonna have them go to sleep now. Get a, um get some rest. Jake needs to get his beauty rest. Probably more than uh, Kirsten does. But yeah, I think that is about it. That wraps it up for part. 22. I hope you guys enjoyed. A lot of things happened here. A lot of a lot of romantic things, if you will. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Yeah, that'd be great. And I will see you all <laughs> in my next uh, Let's Play. Yeah, <laughs> bye.